So we're down in Hall 2 and this is the career hub and to tell us a little bit more, I know a little bit about it, to tell us a little bit more is Tony Campbell. Now Tony, the basic premise of this is it's been difficult over the last few years to get kids, if sensitive school leavers, involved in working on bikes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think many years when the government, successive governments were pushing like the university environment, trades, whether you're plumbing or whatever, Lots have really, yeah, absolutely. And that had to change drastically. I think the thing with our sector is, is that first and foremost, I think people think it's difficult to get into and actually therefore they don't bother. And we traditionally, we've been really good at attracting enthusiasts. And actually, as the world's moved on, there is so many really exciting career opportunities. Think about some of the brands that we that we work with, whether it's BMW, Ducati, Harley Davidson, Suzuki, Yamaha, Honda, don't want to forget anybody. Many brands, really exciting, and not forgetting Triumph, of course. Um, so there are lots of opportunities, whether it's apprenticeship or whether you're looking for a career change. And the hub here is a place to come and register your interest. And, and now we found it, this is second year in now. Second year in now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there is going to be a lot of vacancies. So today, vacancies. So if you are interested in changing career and you want to know where there's a job, come here and the guys here will look after you. Or if you're just leaving education and you want to get a, an apprenticeship, whether it's a technical apprenticeship or one in marketing and communications, come and register your details and then we'll make sure that people looking for those positions will find you. What about a 50 year old enthusiastic amateur mechanic? Uh, no, no problem. No, and I'm, I'm being serious. Someone like you, James. Um, honestly, I think this sector has always been really welcoming, and there are opportunities whatever background you're from. In fact, I've got a lot of friends. Unfortunately, I'm in my 50s that actually come into the sector quite late. They were keen bikers. They'd had professional careers elsewhere, and they were going into a bit of a semi-retirement, a bit like B and Q with the orange overalls. But they didn't want to go and work in B and Q, so they come and work for some local dealers, and it's really worked out good for them. Getting paid for working on bikes, perfect. Oh, listen, why, why would you not want to be around bikes and get paid to do it? You have to